Hey, I'm Dave Fanning with the Body From Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. This is Debbie Petrie, and she's been with us for six months, and I'll let you introduce yourself, ma'am. Hi, I'm Debbie Petrie. I'm um, a CPA, and uh, this is my first experience with the gym, okay. and I've really I've enjoyed it. I have a personal trainer, Bryson, and it's been a really great time. Debbie, how old are you? What do you do for a living? How many children, and where are you out, out of? Um, I've been in Fort Worth all my life. I'm 56 years old. I have two children who are 27 and 29, and then I have a granddaughter, and then I have a grandson on the way. So you're busy. You got a lot of people. Okay, yeah. got a lot of people in your uh, life. So specifically, what, what brought you to us initially, six months ago when you walked in the door? What had caused you to come look for us? The primary reason was I did a DNA test and found that I have the Alzheimer gene. And so I researched everything I could find about Alzheimer's and found that a healthy lifestyle, uh, especially exercise and cardiovascular things would help prevent, uh, or not, not necessarily prevent, but slow down or make me less likely to develop Alzheimer's. So, uh, I mean, I also had other issues, you know, I was overweight and different things, but um, that was what the final straw was that brought me in. It reduces the risk. It does. And then if it does develop, it slows down the development, correct? That's okay. correct. And a family member had developed Yes, my father has okay. Alzheimer's. Got it. But that's what pushed you in here. Yeah. Okay, got it. Had you worked out before in the past? On my own, mm -hmm. I was always too intimidated to actually go to a gym. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought I would go there and everybody there would be bright and beautiful and I would just look, you know, stick out and look really bad. Got it. Got it. And so you just kind of held off until... Yeah. Okay, got it. So specifically in the last six months, what have you accomplished in our Fit Over 50 program? Well, it's been really good. Um, I've lost 25 pounds, and I think I've lost like 11 inches or so. Significant amount um, of inches. Yeah, yeah, 11 inches, but the 25 pounds is a game Yeah, change. I mean, both are really great. Um, I've got a lot more stamina. My cardiovascular system's better, and I kind of have more hope for myself that I can actually be the person I want to be and not... I don't have to be what I see other people be as they age. I have an option. I can make choices. I just, I've learned a lot. Tell me about that. Contrast what you see as far as for people aging through their 40s and 50s and 60s and what you want. I want to be able to get up and move. I still want to wear clothes that look nice. I, I just, I want to not have to sleep 12 hours a day because I'm so exhausted from being so overweight. I, I just want more for myself. Got it. And so getting into shape allows you oh, to reach yeah. out. Good. Yeah. And that's a big energy. Deal. That's what we kind of yeah. convey to people is it's more than just the weight loss. It's like the whole thing. You feel right. better. Yeah. yeah, you feel a whole lot better. Good. Now here's the here's the linchpin. We always have to talk about nutrition because everybody wants to know, and that's such is like eighty five percent, you know, of your re results. Um, so what was the number one thing that you changed about your eating that you feel had the biggest impact on your results? Probably the biggest thing was I eliminated a lot of processed foods, and I didn't I didn't even realize how sure. much food is processed. Yeah. yeah, and part of processed is white sugar, yeah. and I think for females we tend to overdo white sugar without even realizing it. And it it was like easy changes. I used to go get a latte, now I go get an americano. You know, I mean, it, it just small things that added up over time. That's very interesting. That's something that we really encourage in the beginning is it's not this huge change. It's like one or two small yeah. things. So you're talking about the sugar because you said, and this is very common for my ladies that come in, is just reducing. You know, you don't have to eliminate it completely because you're still going to get it through natural foods. But how were you, what would you be eating that contained white sugar, you know, before? Uh, before, a, a typical day I might would have pancakes and then, you know, after dinner we would have some sort of dessert, be it brownies or cupcakes or ice cream. And now I would not, yeah, I just don't do that. I get my sugar through fruit mm -hmm. as opposed to natural sugars as opposed to, opposed to white sugar. Got it. Um, sometimes I'll have uh, sweet potatoes now and I'll actually use brown sugar. I don't use a lot of sugar alternatives because I just don't like the way that make me feel. But got it. Um, so yeah, you it's just substituted. This, yes, I substituted got because it. I think all people have that desire 
to eat sugar. We're all drawn to sugar mm -hmm. or sweet taste. Got it. So I try to get it from other places. Got it. And what was the number two thing that you feel had the biggest impact on your on your results when it comes to nutrition? To nutrition. Do you do meal prep? Or do you kind of have a plan going into the day? No, I'm I Actually, um, the thing that I do, which you told me in the very beginning, was I get up every morning and I eat egg whites. Perfect. And I like egg whites. I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. So I get up and I eat four or five egg whites every morning. And that, like, stabilizes my blood sugar or something. I just, I feel better all day and yeah. I'm able to keep going. And you feel good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of, I mean. And I'm not that starving by yeah. lunch kind of feel to yeah. where I just eat everything that gets yeah. set in front of me. Yeah. yeah. Good. And see, because a lot of girls would be like four or five. And it's not that many calories. And it's very no. high in nutrition. That's good. That's yeah. a big deal. Those are two big things. Just establishing that healthy breakfast and eliminating sugar is a huge deal. Or processed foods. Right. Um, how did you, because this is an important thing, and then we'll go to exercise. How did you eliminate the processed foods? Did you start flipping the bags around, or did you go off the 100 best foods list? How did you do that? I used both. Got I it. love okay. the 100 best foods list because whatever I'm hungry, I like, okay, what's my list? What What's around me? You know, because I'm at the office or I'm out somewhere at a restaurant. You know, I'm, it's not like I'm always just at home going, what do I have in the exactly. fridge? You know? Exactly. So that list helps me to stay on track. Good. And then, uh, yeah, I did a lot of turning things over and going, oh my God, I've been eating that. You Your know, sugar I mean, that's almost everything. Yeah. yeah well, and, and all these additives and words, you know, chemicals. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want them in my body anymore. And it's a big, it's a big swing. It then is. It, then it forces you to eat what's on the 100 best foods list. Knowledge is, is power. Yeah. And yeah. before I didn't have that knowledge. So yeah. as I learn more and more, I make better choices. Yeah. So let's talk about exercise. Okay. Because you said that you came in here with a key mental shift that you made yourself more yes. teachable or we would say right. coachable. So tell, tell, tell them about that. Um, I realized I don't know anything about exercise. Right. The more I came in and just did basic things. I, and I have a personal trainer. I've never done that before. Bryson. And Bryson. And he's done a great job with not pushing me too hard or too fast. Um, I had a knee injury, and so he worked around that, and we're just now to where the knee's strong enough that we can start doing some exercises with it, but um, it's been a really great learning experience. I realized just as I know a lot about accounting, so basically my whole life I sat at a desk, there are people who've trained in health and exercise that can teach me a whole lot, and if I just will let them do their job and just be patient and do what they say. Show up. Yeah, show yeah, up. Pretty much I, I consistently. Can, uh, I can, you know, I can improve myself. So Perfect. Even though I'm older, I still have a lot to learn. Oh, yeah. At 55, that's pretty much average age now for our programs. Is it really? Yeah. So that's, that's you know, you're not older for us. Um, and so he's worked with, our, with and around the knee. Yes. And, and But you've been in small group. The entire time too, haven't you? I've been in some yeah, private, some, groups. some small group. Yeah. I mean, in the small groups, kind so of they fun. Make, they make it work. They <laughs> yeah, make, they it, make work. it work. Good. You know, because uh, people always come in, they're like, "I have this, this, and this. I'm not sure if I can do this, but we have a thousand variations." Yeah. On every exercise, good. That's true. So if there's another lady out there in her 40s, 50s, or even early 60s that was on the fence, injuries, she's carrying too much weight, has a history of, you know, things that may crop up in the future. Yeah. What would you say to her as far as like trying out the program? Don't be intimidated. I was incredibly intimidated by gyms and people who went to gyms. And here, I'm actually comfortable. So if I can be comfortable here, I really think anybody can. Um, there's no judgment. There's no, oh, wow, you're in really bad shape. I used to actually believe that if I could lose weight and get in shape, then I could join a gym. That's pretty common. And it just never yeah, really worked out. No, it's not you know, how it works. Because I was terrified of coming. I respect that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I just had to make myself do it, and I'm really glad I did. Good. David Petrie, his success story in every way, and look forward to the next six months. I really look forward it's to it. It's going to be good. And if you like this video, like it, share it, comment below. I'm Dave Phantom with the Body Firm Personal Training Fitness Bootcamps. This is Debbie. I hope you guys have a great day. Good. Thank you. Good job.